first of all, how the hell are we in Dallas and we don't even see each other? <laughs> Joe hey, is in Dallas. So everyone commented below. <laughs> and they didn't I know was supposed me. to go with you. I was just a little late. A couple yeah. hours. <laughs> Dave, Dave didn't come with Joe. But I repaid myself with uh, Bucky's cookies. Oh, no, this doesn't matter. <laughs> so Joe had private rental, as you guys know, Saturday. Uh, the plan was to meet at XRP after, but Joe ran through some issues, which we'll talk about here in a second. And then he ran through trailer issues, which is the worst. <laughs> oh, yes. We need a transport company to ship our cars, and we'll meet you at the track. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, how'd Saturday go, Joe? I mean, good. So the prep wasn't as good as we were hoping, but... It was hot. It was hot. Um, the event that they were having, which I was invited, uh, the place that did my engine invited me. Super thankful. It was, it was a great event. Met a lot of great people. Um, but it, all, all bracket racers there. So it was yeah. all big tire cars. Yeah. So it wasn't radio prep. Um, granted, the guys there were very accommodating. They, you know, would touch it up and drag it before I would come up. Like, they were super nice and really helping me out. But it's just you can only do so much. So maybe for people that don't understand, what does a big tire need versus a radial car? So big tires need, um, great. Big tires need it sticky as well, but they don't like the super super sticky. Big tire cars need wheel speed, so their tires mm -hmm. need to spin a little bit. Yep. Um, if it's really sticky on a big tire car, it'll cause them to tire shake and have issues. Or a radial car, we like like fly paper, like it's just <laughs> as sticky as you can get it, and. We'll, Radio cars also like it, you know, wet. When you look down a radial track, it'll look it, greasy. It it'll look wet. wet. Yeah. Um, or a big tire car you track, you look down it and it's dry. Like it looks drier than normal concrete. Like it's it got looks like real. a matte finish. Almost. Yeah, like they, someone put powder on it. Yeah, or I was gonna say chalky. Yeah, or something. yeah, no, it is. Yeah. So it's just different surfaces. And granted, they would try to help me out, but there's only so it's much. It's hard to do. go back and forth. Like, that's no, it a lot. is. It is. Um, and the big tire cars, when you put down the sticky stuff, they actually end up peeling it up. Oh, no, so then yeah. it makes it even harder to try to go back and forth. So long story short, um, I mean, the car did good. I had high expectations, but I mean, it still went good times. <laughs> Fair 60 foot. Um, first time on a good track. First time on a good track. Um, so I got to put a little power into it. I got to get a lot of data on the different pieces of the puzzle. Yeah. Um, some pieces are wrong. To be expected. Um, so Amarillo was more make sure the car works, nothing leaks, everything goes together. Function test. Yeah. Dallas was was it going to do any throw power? Yeah, out? Dallas was okay. Now let's see what happens. Yeah. Um, and what happened was there's some parts that are wrong in the combination. Which, I mean, it, there's so many parts to the combination. Like you pick all these and you think it's going to be a good setup, but you don't actually know until you yeah. get it together. And sure enough, like I got I got some pieces that are a little off. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to figure it out and get it adjusted before, you know, our next races, which parts <laughs> are a problem to get. It's, it's going to be tough. Parts, yeah. <laughs> so, we need a parts manufacturer. <laughs> no, for real. So I'm doing some suspension adjustments. I'm actually ordering some suspension pieces to change up some of the rear suspension. Wasn't quite happy with how some of that was working. Um, and then, yeah, I don't want to talk about the other pieces, but there's other pieces that aren't working good, so. So you only got two weeks. <laughs> I got, yeah, Which I got actually, a week it was a week because we wanted to ch test again yeah, this yeah, weekend, really but I that's not going to happen. Yeah, this Friday, which there's no way I can do yeah. that. So now, yeah, the, the race is on, you know, can I get the parts I need by streetcar takeover? Oof. And then it's seriously, that's like, what, 12 days? Yeah, no, it's close. And like, I need the parts because I have to put them in and get it going. And really, I need to test them more Friday. So like, I need the parts by like next Wednesday. Oh. So, you know, who can get me parts in, you know, eight days? It's pretty tough. On a part that has a four to six <laughs> time right now everywhere. So, uh, that's yeah, no, part I, of it, though. And I don't have an answer yet. It is uh, Monday, <laughs> May 4th. Note this. Note this. It'll be fun to go back and watch this. <laughs> yeah. So what people don't understand what we were talking about is the Trans Am. Like, there was a lot. People that haven't been here before, Joe had the Trans Am before. It was super fast, but it took a lot to get there. So, And it took a lot twice, actually. Yeah, twice. So I yeah. bought the car, and it was a pile of crap. <laughs> and I had to change some stuff. I redid some of the turbo kit because it was just a pile of garbage. Yep. And I hope the guy that I bought the car from <laughs> is watching this because he thought it was the best car ever. Uh, until, Pop in it and go yeah, run fours. And until Streetcar Joe got a hold of it. Yeah, so it was a pile. So it, it took me, I bought that car in like June or July. And I went my first four in December. So it's like a, a legit four or five months of struggles. Yeah. And I, um, it, it was tough. Like there was a lot of stuff I had to change and it took a lot of work. And then I ran it and it ran fours for a while. Everything was good. And then I put the big motor in it. <laughs>
took a long time before I went faster, like six months before I went faster than my old motor times because the bigger motor, like it made everything wrong. Like mm -hmm. I had to change all sorts of parts and this was wrong and this was wrong and that was wrong now. So like it takes a lot. If it was easy, everyone would do it. It's not easy. It takes a lot of work and you, it's hard. Like it's mentally draining to take a combination and make it work together. That's, and that's six months of wrenching on the car every night and then testing and then Friday, Saturday, test. coming back Sunday and starting all over again. And, and it's even worse for us because we're driving six hours to go test. Oh, yeah. We're not driving Just 30 Just to test. Minutes. You know how happy I'd be if we could go two hours to test? And most people are like, oh, I got three tracks within an hour. <laughs> like, I literally have to go six hours to go test. Yeah, because we were talking about that in my car. I need to test a part. And I'm like, man, I'm going to drive six hours to test one part to see if it fixes yeah. issues. It's awesome. It's awesome. So now it, it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. So this fresh build, like, it's already looking super promising this no, early. Oh, yeah. So this I guess early I on. I shouldn't be yeah, discouraging. So, no, the data is amazing. I talked to, you know, a lot of the guys that helped me along the way, and the data is amazing. Um, the, the mile an hour, it's already going at the boost levels we're at is like – Dude, this thing's gonna fly. Yeah. Like it's super impressive where it's at already. Oh yeah. Um, and everyone's got full confidence in me. Like a lot of people really praise, you know, how I can dial some stuff in. Um, yeah, so it, it'll get there. It's gonna take. <laughs> Sometimes we forget how long it's gonna take, but yeah. no, this car has huge potential. It the really Trans Am, like it had a lot of potential, and you got it there. And then, you know, you got to move forward sometimes. Nice piece, yeah. So now, now it's the Fox body. Now it's the Fox body. <laughs> Which you're keeping the hood. Joe put a poll on I Instagram. Put a poll and it was, I was surprised. <laughs> like, so no one ever told me a person they hated it. The only person that hates it is me when I drive it because I can't see anything. <laughs> um, or anyone that sits in the passenger seat. You said like, you saw the green light. That's all that matters. Yeah, I did. So I put a... Check this out. <laughs> Excuse the dirty car. Dirty right yeah. now. I put a, a seat pad oh, in. Look at that little guy. Look at that. <laughs> so it raised me up a little bit. So, um, but yeah, and it's comfy now too. So I can see now. But yeah, anyway, sorry. I put a poll on Instagram. I was kind of surprised. I thought I thought more people would have gone, oh, no, shorter hood. Yeah. But I would say, you know, early in the day, it was like probably 90, 95% said leave it. It's kind of, you know, dwindled as the day went by. But I would say I had probably 100 to 200 people message me. <laughs> and I, 75 to 85% said, leave it, it looks killer. It does. It really does. There's no purpose, too. Someone well, was like, oh, you no need purpose. that to yeah, clear someone, the manifold? Someone, no. Someone, <laughs> no. I got like this there's, much clearance. There's nothing under there. <laughs> it's really just for looks. Yeah, yeah it's all for looks. Um, Which it looks killer. I but, think... I don't know. I think it matches the car perfectly. It does. It, it matches the car good. Like, from yeah. most angles, it looks really good. Like, from right here, it looks like it's a foot tall, but whatever. Yeah. So, no, I, I guess right now I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm not too sure. There's more things to worry about. Yeah, I got, like, yeah, that. <laughs> Tons of things to worry about what, instead. What am I doing here? That's <laughs> like... Joe got a new trunk, I guess. I don't know if you call that a trunk, but... Yeah. I don't know. So... You gotta lose weight sometimes. No, I gotta lose weight. This car has got a lot. This of... car is actually heavier than we thought. We can't say the weight because we don't know it because we don't own scales. But yeah, it seems heavy. heavier than we thought. It's heavy. Like the doors are heavy. Everything's heavy. It's got heavy fenders. Like, and... It's metal. It's all factory. <laughs> it's actually a lot heavier. I thought this car would be lighter being a Fox body, but it's actually not as light as we thought. They're actually yeah, uh, they can be heavy. It's people... surprising. And then you add on all the streetcar stuff, like you know the radiator and all the stuff I have in the back. So there's a lot of weight on the back of this car. And the old wing I had was too small. It wasn't giving me enough downforce. So I'm doing a, a lightweight trunk, and then I bought a bigger wing that comes out, and it's adjustable with the strut, Oof. so I can kick it up to it's get more downforce. Look. And plus, it's gonna look killer. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna look good. So I'm gonna have, and that should be done by streetcar takeover. I'll have this Oof. on the wing, and I'll be painted. That looks look good. sick. So yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that. I always hated the little bitty wing. It just yeah, looked out of place. Doesn't it's look too great. small. So I got the I got the big wing with the struts, and then the, this will be um, Zeus fastened on, and then I'll have an access door for the fuel. Ooh, that'd be so, cool. That's gonna be cool. It'll look good, and I'll save a little bit of weight while I'm at it. So. What's the right percentage for radial car? I was. 
You know, radial cars, they like them um, super nose heavy, like 56 to 58%. Just because you're trying to throw so much power trying to get to lead. So much power, the track's so sticky, you don't need weight on the tires, on the rear tires, you just need all the weight on the nose so it doesn't flip mm -hmm. over backwards. <laughs> and this car is nowhere near 56. <laughs> is it really not? No, it's really not. No. Nowhere, near. nowhere near. Granted, a lot of these guys are hanging a bunch of weight on the front to yeah. get there. So that's what's nice about having a lighter car, um, not like uh, Pro Mod Grand Nationals, but <laughs> normal lightness cars, is you can hang weight on the front. Yeah. And you're still, like, even after I hung 60 pounds on the front, yeah. like, I'm still at a, you know, a good weight to be racing at. Yeah, be competitive. Where, you know, on, like, my Trans Am, if I hang, you know, 60, 80 pounds on the front of that car, well, now I'm, like, in Hellcat territory. <laughs> It's so true. It's like, man, I got to add weight for traction, but yeah. <laughs> I don't I need remember, the weight. So, I mean, my big weight bars, I used to put in the back for no prep race in the Trans Am, and that thing would get, like, I'd be knocking on some heavy weight <laughs> with all the weight bars in it. Like, it's crazy. Oh. It's like, why am I so heavy? <laughs> but it worked. Like, yeah, whatever works. I mean, it worked. Like, just... <laughs> Joe's, Joe's coming back. Joe's coming, coming back. back. I mean, these weren't no prep either, but it's Amarillo. Yeah, that's true. So, uh, yeah, super hopeful for the Fox body. Just needs some time, some passes. But, man, the potential looks good for this car. Potential's good, man. Yeah. I felt good coming home. Actually, I didn't feel good coming home. It was, it was a frustrating day. Um, but when you look back at it, it's like, yeah. When I look back and reflect now and look at the data, um, it, it's promising. Yeah. It's really good. I, I'm excited for what the future holds. So, got some upgrades coming to the Fox body. We've got less than two weeks till streetcar takeover. And uh, so, yeah, it's pretty much crunch time again. Back, We're right back to crunch time. There was no racing, and then all of a sudden, boom, tracks open, it's crunch time again. Tracks open, crunch time, get parked. Because there's a few weeks where, like, even I was lazy on my car. I'm like, well, really? there's no racing. Like, you know, you even too, you're eating Cheetos watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, comment below if Dave should uh, do some personal training with me to get in shape for racing. Joe's got to lose some weight. The car's not cutting it. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, two weeks, streetcar takeover. Hopefully get some killer passes out of this car. Probably be a test and tune the night be before. I'll for Dave and the uh, Tang Stang. I hope I'm Which, pitting for you. Which, have you announced that you're, what you're doing to it? No. Oh. I've not. Any of it? Like, you didn't announce that you're doing it? No. Oh, okay, never mind. I got away from it. I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. I'm doing tw I'm doing twins on the on the tank thing. <laughs> not. I am not doing twins. Yeah, nope. Single turbo gang here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video on the Fox body. Oh, it's that's the end. Yeah, that's the end. I thought we had something else to talk about. I don't know. Probably not. No. Not in this video. Maybe not. I thought we had something else to talk about. It's no. <laughs> looking around for parts. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's for another video. So uh, yeah. Joe's car's looking super promising. Some fast passes coming around. Joe's already going fast. Thanks so. for the buckies, Dave. You're welcome, man. <laughs> there goes the weight right back on. So, make sure you guys follow Joe, Streetcar Joe on Instagram. And he's keeping the hood for now, which I'm pretty excited about. So, we'll see you guys on the next Fox Body update.